Inside these containers are two identical looking living rooms. But there's one key distinction. Only one of them is fitted with a home fire sprinkler. It could mean the difference between life and death. A live fire demonstration shows just how quickly a fire spreads in a room with no sprinklers. Most people don't realise when they settle in to watch Netflix at night, tonight, they're sitting on basically a drum of petrol. That's what all of our furniture is made out of these days. So that's, that's the ability of uh, structures to very quickly get engulfed in flame if you don't have those minimal levels of protection. Within minutes, the blaze becomes an inferno, making it impossible to escape. You'll see in a fire during its development stage is that um, it starts off giving heat and gases. Uh, that heat is reflected around the room. That heat uh, impacts on other combustible materials and as they decompose, those gases ignite. So once all the combustible materials have ignited, that's when we've reached flashover. It can be quite a dramatic event. Smoke alarms first to give you a really early warning that you've got a fire and in multiple uh, occupancy dwellings, such as apartment buildings, a sprinkler system to minimise the spread to other parts of the building. The same fire erupts on the exact furnishings in the room fitted with the sprinkler. It activates quickly to control deadly heat, smoke and flames and allow time to escape. Sprinklers are highly effective at helping us contain over 90% of fires to their room of origin, but not just containing the fire, they significantly increase the survivability for someone who may have been in the room. In May 2019, a new Australian-wide construction code came into effect. Builders will be required to install automatic sprinklers on all new residential apartments above three storeys. This is about saving lives. Uh, and if this sprinkler system saves just one life, it was, good, it was a good policy to introduce. I suspect it's going to save a lot of lives. The changes were prompted after a woman jumped to her death in 2012 to escape a fire in a high-rise apartment in Bankstown. The coroner made a series of recommendations, and one of those recommendations uh, was for Fire Rescue New South Wales to, to work with its partners to develop a low cost and fit for purpose sprinkler system that could be uh, installed into similar classes of uh, residential buildings in the future. AFAC as the National Council for All Fire and Emergency Services worked with every fire agency across Australia and with the Australian Building Codes Board to get this proposal for change through and introduced into legislation. Homes with modern furnishings can become unsurvivable in less than three minutes. Not only that, the maximum temperature in the room with no sprinklers reached 924 degrees. In this one, it was 90 degrees. Well, what we saw was very quickly from that small fire in the corner, how quickly the smoke developed in this room activating the smoke alarm, and how quickly after that this room was completely smoke logged, meaning that a, an occupant had very little chance of survival. So Michael, this is quite remarkable because here I can still see all the furniture things look in place. Yep. It's just all intact. So a, a vastly different scenario. As you saw, we started the fire exactly the same way in exactly the same place. Within four minutes, the other room was completely involved and burnt out. With the sprinkler activating in this one in around the three minute mark, we're left with a small amount of fire damage in the corner um, and virtually everything else intact and easily repairable. Developing a cost-effective technique that could adapt to the existing water supply was another key objective of the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition. What we're doing here though is making it more affordable by connecting it to the domestic water supply that's already in the house rather than its own separate standalone system which costs more money. With the colder months approaching, the Winter Home Fire Safety Campaign has also been launched. Fire safety in the home is very important, particularly as we head into the winter months. Once people turn their heaters and electric blankets on during April and May, we find an increase in house fires. No one wants to experience a residential fire, but people who've thought about it beforehand and taken action to protect themselves and their families are much more likely to uh, minimise the impact of that fire should it occur.